Today in the news, Intel might release their GPUs just a little bit early. Considering all of the delays, Nvidia already has a 900 watt GPU, and I was right. Hmm? What's up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. Now, ARC GPUs have been delayed for the longest time. I mean, as is, we were supposed to see them in Q1 of this year. I'm talking about the desktop models. After that, Intel decided to postpone them and we're now supposed to see them in Q2. Well, according to WCCF Tech, Intel is actually going to release them this month. We're looking at the A750, the A580, and the ARC A380. Now, WCCF Tech also received pricing information from their own sources. If we take a look at their chart, the A750 would be at an MSRP of $350, the A580 at an MSRP of $280, and the A380 would be $150. They did list some comparable GPUs here, although I don't think that it will be relevant for performance. As is, the release date, so when it actually goes on sale, would either be at the end of May, for the A750 and the A380 or early June, and the A580 is tentatively scheduled for July. It's going to be interesting to see how Intel is going to position or talk about their GPUs just because their drivers are still not mature and they intend on having increased performance at every driver release. Now, Intel never really gave us the entire spreadsheet of how many GPUs they would release, but I think we're supposed to see about seven of them. So we'll have to wait and see for uh, the other models. Hopefully Intel doesn't just forget to release those GPUs because apparently they're forgetting things like their drivers. They were supposed to release a driver at the end of April that would unlock optimizations for UL benchmarks so that it would get a better score. The score wouldn't be valid, but still that whole driver is just not there yet. We're in May now, Intel. Do you know how months work? Next up, let's talk NVIDIA. Now we already know that the uh, 3000 series are power hawks. The 3090 Ti just appeared with a 450 watt TDP. Insanity. But it doesn't stop you from going higher. The 3090 Ti now has an XOC BIOS that can go all the way up to 890 watts. Now, as is, you're not gonna reach that wattage, at least I don't think so. Please, Jay's Two Cents, don't try this again. I mean, he pushed a 320 watts all the way up to 500 and some, but some people have tried to push the 3090 Ti to its limits, and what they've been drawing is about 615 watts. I guess the 3090 Ti really is a representation of the power consumption that we're going to see in the next generation. Damn. Then let's talk about AMD. Now on the last video, I made a prediction. I said that the 6000 series refresh, so the 6X50 XT models would come in at about less than 10% in terms of performance increase or around 10%, but they would come in at a higher price. Some of you have told me that I'm biased against AMD and that uh, no, they would never do that and that I'm an Nvidia shill. By the way, I'm not an Nvidia shill. Nvidia is stupid. I just didn't want AMD to be stupid too. Anyways, I said that the prices would go higher and the performance increase would be uh, marginal. Well, I don't have to wait until the 10th. The leaks are already out. As is, the 6950 XT versus the 6900 XT would only be 4% faster. The 6750 XT versus the 6700 XT is a 7% faster. And the 6650 XT versus 6600 XT is 2% faster. So, yeah. Almost no difference here except for the 6750 XT, which delivers a quite reasonable 7%. The only thing is the prices have also leaked and you get to pay $100 more for the 6950 XT, $70 more for the 6750 XT for 7% more performance, and you get to pay uh, $20 more for 2% more performance on the 6650 XT. So I guess I was right. That's unless AMD has a debate moment and decides to change the prices right at the end, which I would personally love. Please, AMD, go ahead, debate me. Just pull the rug from under me and give us reasonably priced GPUs, either lower or at the previous MSRP. This price creep just doesn't make sense to me. Don't turn into Nvidia. 
Then it looks like AMD GPUs are just keep getting smarter. Now, as is, we've had smart access memory for a pretty long time. That is the technology that uh, leverages resizable bar to get a better connection, more throughput between the GPU and the CPU. Well, now, according to videocards.com, AMD is preparing smart access storage. Now, smart access storage is a completely different technology and might be just a name change for the implementation of direct storage from Microsoft. Direct storage, by the way, is a compression slash decompression technology. It also allows games to load way faster and it can free up some CPU resources since the GPU is the one actually doing the compression and decompression of the uh, assets. As you can see here in the video of the technologies of Forspoken, it makes a huge difference in load times even on hard drives. Personally, I'm waiting for a game that will make use of direct storage for its intended purposes, kind of like Ratchet and Clank, but just not console exclusive, obviously. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Rolling them dice, I love it, I love it, I'm fine. Canvas for faces, I'm painting these pictures of mine.